Hey guys, Rusty here from Aspire Studio and, and just a little piece of information I found out yesterday I thought was pretty cool. If you've ever went into your DAW and opened it up and uh, you choose the driver for your interface and you get a latency when you're doing your uh, vocals or, or guitars or bass or whatever. It's a little delay between the time you actually touch the string until you actually hear it from your speakers. I went into my options. I went to a place called asioforall.com and I downloaded their driver. It's a generic driver that uh, interfaces with your driver for your interface. But uh, anyway, you can see I got my block size at 320 and my internal block size at 64. And this gives me a really nice uh, non latency way to, to put my guitars through my simulators in my DAW. But what's cool with this new, I've had ASIO for all for a long time. I downloaded the new one a couple of days ago. And in the control panel, you can see that I have 32 samples in, but I can set my out at 52 and I can use a hardware buffer and I can set my buffer offset. So I can get that latency down to almost zero. So it feels like you're playing through a really, really nice guitar amp and the sounds are a lot nicer and a lot smoother. And so you can, even if you're uh, computer is a little slower than than say a new Mac I've got an old Dell PC that I've had for a couple of years but uh, it uses the zoom driver as you can see for my zoom R16 interface and it lets me go ahead and use the uh, the controls on the zoom the zoom has uh, uh, faders and, and knobs to run the DAW and I can use those with the ASI for all but the neat thing is being able to set the samples at 32 in so when I touch the strings it actually activates the DAW and there's no latency and, and there's no delay in the time that I actually hear what I've played but I can set my out where the DAW doesn't click and pop like it would if you had it set at a lower sample so just a little piece of information I thought was really cool and I'm actually running at 320 samples I can turn it up to whatever you can see that I went to 480 or 780 or even up to 2048 but for my system right now 320 is working fine even at 24 tracks and so I've just got a four cores processor and eight gigs of RAM running Studio One and it works perfectly and I'm sure that this ASI overall I haven't checked in Reaper Rear and Cubase but I'm sure that the driver itself is the same no matter what DAW you're using so if you're having clicks and pops and you're having some trouble with your DAW go ahead and check into ASI overall and uh, I hope this helps bye